Hello, YouTube, and welcome to episode 10, I think, 11? 11, probably. Welcome to the next episode, anyway, of Minecrafting with the Wax. We're still in 1.8.1, and I am joined here by my good walrus friend, Walker, Seductive Bagel. Hello. Hello, indeed. You're, he's building a little house right there. Because one must live in houses or holes in the ground. Mm. We're at the Swamp Shack here. And today uh, I'm going to be doing a little project with Walker. Uh, maybe uh, maybe a big project. Um, we haven't really decided on what to do yet. We'll uh, think about that in a second. This is just a little update on what I've been doing. I've been busy. As you can see, the, uh, the Swamp Shack looks a little different. I'm sure I showed this fridge. Nom. Get some steak out. Awesome. Oh, hello there. Hello. Do you have any smooth stone? No. No, I'm almost out, actually. Uh, almost no stone left. I have, like, one smooth stone. Okay, so we'll I'll have to go mine some. I'll just go get some. I have made a map and uh, mapped out the enormous forest. Enormous forest. That is Darkwood Forest. I haven't explored much with it yet. Uh, we all remember the strip mine. That was cool. That still is cool. I'll keep it. And there is the uh, the Waxian weed farm, making its weed. But I was. Th I can hear a car coming by, but that's fine. <laughs> Sorry about that. I live on a busy street. Busy, busy streets. Yes. Okay. I was thinking the other day, you know, I, I don't have much of a house, do I? I mean, the Swamp Shack, look at this place. It's small, it's... It doesn't even... It's not even in a swamp. It's just a shack, really. So, uh, I got a little crazy, and oh my god, it's a giant mansion. Yes, it is. <laughs> I haven't uh, thought of a name for it yet. It's nowhere near finished. But I think it is coming along pretty nicely. Look at this place. Let's find a nice, nice little viewing spot here. Look at that. I'm really uh, quite proud of the design. I think that it looks nice. It has a bit of an alpine feel to it. I think it blends in well with the, uh, with the forest. Please do suggest names for it. Um, and I will, uh, I will see. Uh, if people actually do come up with names with it, and if I like it, it will be named as such. So please do leave your comments below. It will be fun. Let's go inside. We have these, these large glass windows in the front. I know I could have used panes, but I like this better. We've got some panes over here. Let's go in. There's nothing in here yet, but it's pretty big. It's a, it's a half slab floor. With a little, uh, I don't know, a little crazy design there. I'm, I like it. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing here yet, but it needs to be more homey, to be sure. I have these spiraling staircases that go up. Uh, I tweaked these for a long time. I think I'm going to keep them this way. I think I like them, but I'm a little undecided still. Up here, nothing. This is going to be my work area probably. And then there's going to be another walkway to the other side, and that's going to be my bedroom. And then on the floor, we're going to have like a living area with some, maybe even a fireplace, but that's a bit dangerous. So probably won't try my hand at that, but we'll see. We'll see. And I'll, uh, I'll be sure to keep you updated on the uh, progress of the as of yet unnamed mansion. Let's not call it the Waxian Mansion. Because that's a little, uh, a little obvious. <laughs> oh. Okay. So that's about all that happened in the world. Um, and uh, there's a little shack arising there across the, uh, across the river. So that's cool. Let's go take a look at it. And then uh, we'll cut the video. And I'll be back when uh, something more interesting has happened. Let's see. Any entrance to this place? There is. All kinds of noises in the background. Yeah, sorry about that. That's okay. Uh, there is no roof. Apparently, uh, you like <laughs> you like open spaces. 
Quit complaining. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> okay. So I think that concludes this uh, short little tour. I'll be sure to splice in uh, some progress at the end of this video to make it a little longer. In any case, I will see you later. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to our little cave adventure. Just jumping in. We need some coal. I got my... Uh, my fancy armor on. Look at how cool that is. Oh. And we're going in. There's quite a few creepers. I would, uh... Right or left? Left, left. I'm going right. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. This looks big. Oh, man. This is a bad cave, not this... I'm going right, too. I disagree <laughs> with left. Left is a bad place. Even with my iron armor, I don't feel confident I'll come out of there alive. Oh, we got some coal right here. That is good. It ends a little bit up the, uh, up the road, oh, yeah. up the cave. But, you know, yeah. just need some coal. Yeah, we need, like, a, I think a stack should do us. That should give us quite some glass. We need approximately a lot of coal. Mm. Approximately... A lot, yeah. Yes. Should be a scientific term. Oh, it is. A lot is a... Uh, really? At least I use it. Uh, I do science at work. Interesting. Well, not interesting science. The boring <laughs> kind, you know, the kind that people pay you to do. So oh, no, man. no splitting of atoms or anything? Not on a daily basis, no. You know, maybe. Maybe during lunch break, right? During lunch break, you know, for fun. Ah. Die, zombie, die! <laughs> oh, no. I hate how I'm the guy that has to fight because I have the armor. <laughs> well, I will gladly take that armor from you if you don't want it. Oh, I got some more coal over here. But it's a crazy room. We have to be careful. Yeah, I got some right here. Ooh. I'll light this up a little bit. Look at this drop. Okay, we got a lot of coal down here. There's we a got ravine. a lot of resources. There's a ravine down here. Really? Yeah. Oh, that is cool. I'm out of torches, by the way. Oh, it goes down deep. Whoa. Careful, creeper! Ah! No! Walker! No! I got your stuff, though. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Okay, I'm gonna grab the coal down here. Or make a decent attempt, anyway. At least it informs me that I blew up, so I know what happened. Well, I kind of like that new feature. <laughs> you know, on SMP, you would always wonder, like, did you die, dude? Now you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got some coal here. That is good. Well, I guess mission accomplished. And there was a uh, little lava waterfall or something. I saw a glow in the distance, but I couldn't see what it was. It'd be really nice if we could find some, uh, what's it called, some, an abandoned mine shaft so we could yeah. get some. Maybe we could get some melon seeds. That would be awesome. Melon seeds make the world go round. Exactly. Everybody likes melons, right? Indeed. Just like in real life, have you ever <laughs> met anyone that doesn't like a good piece of watermelon? No, I do not believe I have. It's like the, everybody likes watermelon. It's a universally liked la, uh, universally liked melon. Indeed. Oh man, there's too much iron in here. I have to take it. <laughs> I can't leave it. Oh man, that's a lot of iron. I'll give half to you. We'll share the resources. Thank you. I mean, you blew up, but you did help. <laughs> I found the cave. Cool. I feel it's been quiet for too long, and I will explode soon. So, <laughs> let's see how much coal I got. I got 34. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have any wood on me? No. Do you have any wood on you? Oh, I do have wood. Never mind. I can make torches. You probably picked that up from me. <laughs> well, I'll give you half of the torches. Here you go. Could I have my, uh, what's it called, pickaxe and... Oh, right. Everything. Wait a minute. Make some light. Here we and go. a little dirt for scaffolding. Oh, I see a shovel. 
Oh man, I think your stuff got lost. I was on the edge of a ravine, so... I think it fell down. It is. I found it. Never mind. I have your shovel, though. Oh, more coal over here. And more iron. Awesome. I oh, see a some, lot more. I see some lazuli down this uh, ravine. Oh, cool. I found some earlier in my strip mine, but not much. I like the blocks you can make with it. They uh, look yeah, luxurious. Where'd you go? Uh, whoa. Oh, it's storming outside, I think. Where did I go? Um, I can see your name tag. I'm right around the corner. This cave is huge. Oh, you're right, there is a ravine. And I can hear the thunder in the background. It's crazy. Whoa. You gotta come see this. I will come in uh, one minute. I'll be right there, jumping the ravine. Oh man, I can hear creepers. Where are you? Dying. Dying? Where? I, I saw there was this little place where lava was like a lava waterfall and a actual waterfall. It looked oh, really I see cool. It. So while I, w I found the place yeah. you mentioned. And then I left. <laughs> okay. Well, Come here, zombie. Anyway, I was looking, staring at it in awe. And a zombie pushed me into it. Oh, that is cool. That is cool stuff. Oh man, spider. Is it storming outside? Yes, it is. Cool. I love the thunder. It's amazing. But it's dangerous, too. Yeah, One of my dreams is to have a little Frankenstein experiment room where I can <laughs> supercharge creepers with lightning. I've never seen a supercharged creeper. So do creepers despawn or do they? Sure, they do. Well, you said that if you kill a uh, pig or cow or something, they... Yeah, the uh, the passive mobs... Okay. They do no longer uh, spawn the way we are used to. Oh, lag. It's dangerous. Now, they don't follow the uh, spawning algorithm that we are used to. But the uh, aggressive mobs still do. The reason that they, s that they work that way now is because in 1.9, or at least 1.10, you will be able to farm mobs. So you will be able to regrow wool and all that. No, oh, cool. So, I am a little bit lost. Well, me, me too. Oh, wait. No, I wait. I know where I am. I'm in the big chamber. So I found a lot of iron, but not too much coal just yet. I've got 54 coal and 54 iron. Cool. Do you think that's enough? Hmm. Don't know. Let me well, think. 54 coal. That would give us about... I got some more coal over here. I'll use it. I'll, uh, I'll go grab it. It's almost seven stacks of glass. So... Yeah, like a full stack of coal will give you eight stacks of smelted material. So. Okay, so where are you? There you are. Could I okay. get my stuff before I die again? Uh, yeah, I got a lot of glass and stuff on me, but I think uh, we'll sort that out when we get back to the surface. Because I found some more coal right here. Yeah. Could you give me more than just my shovel? The shovel won't really do much. I know, but it's the only tool that I picked up from you. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry, but I think the rest fell into the ravine, man. Hmm. But we've got a lot of iron, so you can make a new tool set and armor. But I am just about out of torches, so... Well, since I accidentally fell into the ravine, I'm just going to go all the way to the bottom. 
See what's down there. Sounds okay, good. I'm gonna make my way back up. So I have nothing to lose but a, uh, but a shovel. I have a lot of stuff to lose. <laughs> if you see a zombie, whack him with your shovel. Beat him with your beating stick. Okay. I think that that is my cue to exit. Was that you? Maybe. <laughs> it wasn't me, it was the creeper. Oh. Oh, wal walrus is. Walrai can't explode, can they? Indeed, we can. <laughs> okay, it's dark outside. Ooh. Man, that is dangerous. I found one of these rare underground but perfectly circular rooms. I know what you mean. I, I know those. I'm not gonna try and join you because you are way down. Oh man, it's dark. I have to I'm, make a run for it. Yeah, I'm on 14, so. 14? That cave goes all the way down to 14? Well, the ravine does. That is amazing. I'm gonna take refuge in the spawn village. Oh man, oh man. Mobs everywhere. Can't run. Must get to safety. I've got no food, but I can. <gasps> no creeper, no. No, I said. Ah. Oh. oh well. Well, I'm having fun in my little ravine. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Um. A little piece of the spawn village is no more, but still. I can make some bread. Apparently, I still had some bread on me. I will eat it, get back to the swamp shack, and stop recording because I've been recording all this time. <laughs> oh man, I have to get I have to get out of here. This is crazy. Don't die on me. People, exp uh, creepers exploding everywhere. Creepers aren't people. What am I saying? <laughs> oh man, it's dark. Oh well, man, guess, it's dark. I guess people could explode too. Man, it's because it's storming, isn't it? Is it still raining? Yep. So that's why it's so ridiculously dark. Run! Run! Swim, swim. I can see morning. Hmm. Not that it helps much because it's raining. I believe I found some uh, gold. Yep. Although that is cool, I don't see how it helps us at the moment. <laughs> it, it brightens the mood. So I watched some 1.9 videos, and the nether is getting a complete rework. It's oh, yeah. amazing. Looking forward to that. Oh yeah, and the pigmen, they drop gold nuggets, and you can combine nine of those into a gold bar. Hmm. So you can kind of farm gold. Well, not that pigmen are the easiest mob to kill. Are you crazy? Those things will kill you. They eat you for breakfast. Yeah. And I hit the ground too hard. And I just entered the swamp shack. So there you are. <laughs> well, I think that's a good point to end the video. I Let's see what we purpose. got. We got like a stack of coal and a stack of iron. That is awesome. We'll update you on more progress soon. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back. We have decided on a little project. Well, more or less, anyway. We are going to build an underwater base of sorts. And uh, we found a little spot to do it, pretty close by, this direction. Let's uh, run over there. I love running. It's amazing. It drains your food pretty quickly, though. It seems to me that, you know, y um, your food doesn't start draining straight away. But after a long time, it, it just flies flies down yeah that meter 
It's kind of like a phone battery. It's like on five bars, then four bars. The next time you look at it, it's like almost dead. Yeah, it kind of is. That's a good comparison. So we found this body of water here, right next to the Mountains of Deception, where there still is a stack of coal in a chest somewhere. I don't think we'll ever find it, though. <laughs> so this is where we're going to be starting. Um, we'll just... Uh, I guess I'll cut the video. There's nothing much interesting to see. Also, we haven't a clue what we're going to be doing. So we'll update you at the next interesting juncture. Hello, YouTube. It hasn't been long since the last video. We uh, chose this little spot here to get started, and we found something. Uh, it's not exactly beneficial to the building process, but look at what we found here. I hope you can see it on YouTube. I'll just uh, turn the brightness all the way up, and I'll go grab some air, a lung full. <gasps> there we go. It is an underwater ravine. It goes all the way down. And I am... I found a little little bit of air. There are little air pockets everywhere. Look at this place. It is... It is crazy. <laughs> what do you think, Walker? I, uh... Well, this is the first time I've seen an underwater ravine. I don't... Are they supposed to spawn underwater? Or... It's just a glitch, or... I wouldn't call it a glitch as such, but I just fell into a cave system. It's more like a... Uh, what do they call it underwater? A trench. Oh man, a skeleton. Ooh. Yeah. Whatever this is, it's rare. And there is a massive cave system underneath, and I see gold. Oh man, we just fell all the way to level 26, and it goes down even further. That is amazing. I'm gonna swim out now, if I can, because this is treacherous. This is very treacherous stuff here. It's crazy too, you got this, these air bubbles under the water. Yeah. It's very silly. I love it. So this may not be the best place to start building the base then, <laughs> but it's definitely an interesting feature. Hmm. Almost out now. Oh, that is crazy. You can get lost down there. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna drown, gonna drown. Get to the door, get to the door. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Just thought I'd share that. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> We've been busy, haven't we? Indeed. We oh. made um, this. Whatever this is, it's uh, it's like a big sandstone room beneath the uh, the lake. As you can see, we've got the glass over there, and the zombie over there. Let's go down. Walrus going up, walks going down. <laughs> it's a system. This will uh, probably be some kind of elaborate redstone lab. And this is like the first room. I guess you would call it the lobby or something. We didn't really think this through. We just made it. So, uh, oh, there's a creeper down there. Yeah. Yeah, we can go into the, uh, the cave systems beneath here through this uh, fountain. It goes down quite deep, I believe. Yeah, we got down to like 26, was it? Yeah, and uh, it's a ravine, so it probably goes down almost to bedrock. But we will explore those some other time. Lots of resources in there, I'm sure, and maybe some of those melon seeds that we've been wanting. Indeed. So that should be cool. However, we are really out of time right now, so this is where we're going to leave it. And uh, I'm sure we'll update you as this uh, progresses over time. Any uh, last statements that you might have? Uh, hmm. No, not really. Didn't really think it through. But, uh, That's excellent. Just like this room. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think it through. 
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, but mostly gentlemen. We will see you next time on Minecrafting with the Walks and the Walrus, of course. Bye-bye.